What is up, YouTube? This is Apex27, and uh, we're going to bring you guys some, well, I'm going to bring you guys some uh, ACB Assassinate, but this time, it's going to be a little different, because uh, as you know, AC3 is right around the corner, and a few new modes were released, um, and it actually was um, Team Deathmatch, Domination, and uh, capture the flag. Now I have no idea what capture the flag is going to be because artifact assault is already there. So one of the speculations is that it'll be artifact assault, but with one side scoring and one side defending, and then you switch. So it'll be like it'll be like an Iron Man type of thing. You will no longer be able to have like two defenders and two offenders at the same time. You'll have to be someone who can do both you know, like an all-around player, so you have to be able to defend and run. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's speculation. Um, we already know what domination is going to be, um, but team deathmatch was one thing that was different, and no one really knew what was going to happen. My first thoughts were, you know, oh shit, team deathmatch, I'm thinking manhunt on deathmatch maps. Uh, you know that movie Psych, where the guy's got the knife in the bathtub, and it's like, he, he, he. Yeah, that was what was playing in my mind, because all I could think is total bullshit fist. Uh, <clears throat> so, I was like, I don't want Manhunt with Deathmatch maps, and then all of a sudden, you know, one day I come to a party, probably the second day after the new modes were released, and Rain and Stormbreak and Jester BW are you know, speculating over what they think it's going to be. They were, they were putting their predictions up. And apparently they came to the conclusion that it would have to be Team Assassinate. So, uh, we, you know, everyone in VAA was like, oh yeah, I like that idea. If that's what it is, that, that could be really fun. So, um, you know, that's now we're getting to the point of this video and maybe you'll understand what's going on. We uh, decided to pick get all eight players who are in this lobby right now together four people would pick guy personas four people would pick girl personas so that we could you know figure out who our teammates were and you know pray that we didn't accidentally kill one because uh... the kills count apparently you know that's the rules that uh... were given to us by uh... gia and Rainin or whatever whoever made up the rules i forget who but anyway so we're in assassinate with persona teams to tell us who the personas are, you know, to tell us who the teams are. And I personally decided that my normal set of Firecrackers Poison would hurt my team because obviously we're not actually on a team, so my Firecrackers will blind my teammates, and if I poison somebody, it will uh, ultimately end up in them probably dying because obviously you can still kill people while you're poisoned, you just can't kill your poisoner. Um, so I'd be free, but my teammates would be open to death. <laughs> um, so I decided Smoke and Knives, which was my original profile set anyway that I would have brought for Team Deathmatch if it were Team Assassinate, because, you know, I didn't get to use it the way I wanted it to, just because I, I wasn't, you know, it just, <laughs> a lot of un unsuspected things happened. But I was thinking, like, you know, I could use my knives to distance myself between vultures. Like, if I knew I was going to vulture someone and I saw their teammate coming up behind them to vulture me after I vulture them, I could knife them, get the vulture off, and get away fast enough to continue to avoid that guy and eventually possibly kill him. Uh, smoke bomb, you know, another thing to break up vultures and break up mashups. You know, so it ultimately pr probably wouldn't hurt my team to bring Smoke Bomb just because if I Smoke Bomb a teammate, you know, I'm at least going to, you know, do something productive most likely with that, unless some crazy bullshit happens. But yeah, um, so, like, you know, this is Team Deathmatch. <laughs> that we're, This is our, our, uh, what we think it's going to be like and how it's going to be played. Just basically Team Assassinate. And, uh, obviously we're not going to have three abilities, but we're making the best of what we can. <clears throat> so as you can see here, using that smoke bomb, getting my streak. Um, but yeah, this game at the very end, it's really close. It's only 1,000 point difference. Uh, one team gets 20,000, one team gets 19,000. 
How did we get that score, you ask? Well, we did a lot of math at the end and added up everybody's scores. <laughs> Talented has a really good game as the Knight, uh, which I was annoyed with because, you know, the Knight sucks. <laughs> um, so, yeah, whatever. But um, it's overall fun, and it'll be so much better if this is if it actually is Team Assassinate. It'll be amazing. And it'll be really good because our abilities won't affect our opponent. Uh, no, not our opponent. Our abilities won't affect our teammates, so we'll be able to use them on a wider range and actually use them to help each other instead of maybe having them hurt each other. Kind of like that smoke bomb could have. Um, but yeah, so we'll be able to use firecrackers and poison and smoke bomb without worrying about the lasting effects or mute, um, you know, or whatever new abilities they bring. Um, wow, slide kill, I think. I'm not sure. I'm far away from the screen. But yeah, anyway, so I hope you enjoy the rest of this match. Um, but that's my explanation of this mode and the other modes I'm speculating on uh, and why I'm using these abilities. Uh, if you want, you should totally like rewind the match if you didn't pay attention and watch how we play because it is down to the wire and... Um, there's a lot of interesting strategies to go with in this mode. So yeah, uh, this is Apex 27, and I will see you later. Your target has exposed you. <laughs> Massacre. Target has exposed you. Contract lost. Revenge. Massacre. will end in one minute. Seconds remaining.
contract loss.